Felkra Berhad bercadang mencairkan beberapa aset termasuk 30,000 hektar tanah bagi menyelamatkan aliran tunai syarikat berkaitan kerajaan itu. Perkara terbabit dijelaskan oleh Ketua Pegawai Eksekutifnya, Muhammad Nazrul Nizam Mansur. The biggest one that is that is probably the 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 apa ni easiest one to securitize is kita punya dues from our peserta-peserta which is at the tune of 900 and what million close to a billion ringgit lah okay these are receivables so these receivables yeah can be securitized to the government uh, or whomever that wants to invest in the company and a uh, uh, favorable, favorable return uh, would be packaged together with the um, purchase of the receivables sorry there's one of the plans no? there's one of the plans and second um, we have many um, joint venture companies as well as uh, um, estates that we have purchased in cash uh, many many years ago so at the tune of over 700 million ringgit lah so we can probably refinance um apa ni some of these assets so that we are able to match the cash flow of these assets um, with the returns that it gets Jelasnya cadangan itu akan dipanjangkan kepada Menteri Halewal Ekonomi Datuk Seri Muhammad Azmin Ali dalam tempoh terdekat Mengulas mengenai kekangan aliran tunai yang dihadapi Falkra, jelas Muhammad Nazrul ia disebabkan beberapa ketirisan dikesan dalam pengurusan lama yang kini masih dalam siasatan Suruhanjaya Pencegahan Rasuah Malaysia SPRM. Beliau berkata demikian dalam sidang media khas di Wisma Falkra pada Isnin.